الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبيه الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقل من لساني يفقه قولي Today inshallah we will be talking about the life of Sheikh Muhyiddin Abu Muhammad bin Abu Saleh Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani Al Hassani wal Husaini rahimahumullah But before I start I pray that Allah gives me the tawfiq to speak the truth and gives you all the tawfiq to take something beneficial away from today inshallah Amin Firstly he is given the name Hassani and Husaini as his father had a direct lineage to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as he was a descendant of Imam Hassan radiyallahu ta'ala and and his mother a descendant of Imam Hussein radiyallahu ta'ala and subhanallah so he was a sayyid both maternally and paternally he was born in Jilan on the 23rd of March 1078 according to the Gregorian calendar there were many miracles just surrounding his birth which here are a few His mother was at the age of 60 at the time of his birth which is a blessing in itself subhanallah On the night of Miraj when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was mounting the burak he placed his feet mubarak on the neck of Huzur Ghosbak and the nishani the sign of this the imprint of this was still present at the birth of the great Sheikh subhanallah <coughs> On the eve of his birth 1100 males were born in Jilan and subhanallah every single one of them became wali of allah he was born on the first of ramzan and at the time news spread that the infant would not feed i e he was refu- he would refuse milk from dawn till dusk hence it signified that he was fasting subhanallah therefore the following year when the moon could not be sighted due to heavy clouds the people relied on whether or not the infant ai sheikh abdul qadir jilani would feed and therefore they based the start of their ramzan upon this subhanallah at the age of 18 approximately 1095 according to the gregorian calendar he through the permission of his mother left jilan to travel to the hub of knowledge at the time which was baghdad in those days traveling was not easy they would go in big caravans i they would go as groups of people they would travel for many days many months at sometimes and they would come across many difficulties so his mother knew this and as it would be a very long journey his mother had sewn 40 dirhams into his vest for food and other necessities and gave him one piece of advice before he left the sheikh at this time he knew that it would be a very long journey and he might never see his mother again So bearing all this in mind his mother gave him one last piece of advice she said never lie never deceive a person taking this piece of advice in his mind he left with a caravan of people for Baghdad on the way they were stopped by highway thieves they looted the whole caravan but when they came to the sheikh bearing in mind he was only 18 at the time and he wasn't wearing the best the the best clothes as it were so one of the bandits came to the sheikh and asked him do you have anything for us to take off you i steal off you so if the sheikh had said no i do not have anything the bandits would have believed him they would have said look he's not wearing the best of clothes he's only a young man he probably doesn't have anything on him but he remembered the covenant he made with his mum saying that never tell a lie never deceive a person and therefore he said yes i do i have such and such i have 40 dirhams for example the robber was shook and the robber was surprised from the sheikh's response he took him to the leader of the bandits the leader of the bandits was astonished as well he asked for forgiveness from allah at the hands of sheikh abdul qadir jilani and subhanallah all 40 thieves present at the same time took shahada under the hands of sheikh abdul qadir jilani subhanallah he then reached baghdad he faced many difficulties 
and he studied hadith, fiqh and many other sciences for eight years before he became an alim and a mufti. He then fought his nafs for 25 years, gaining even more closeness towards Allah Ta'ala. It was only at the age of 51 did he decide to start preaching. He started teaching students hadith, tafsir and qirat. He also wrote many books including Fathul al-Ghayb and Tafsir al-Jilani. This was a great personality. This was a great sheikh, the founder of the Qadiri Silsila, Sheikh Muhyiddin Abu Muhammad bin Abu Saleh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani al-Hassani wal Husayni rahimahumullah. Inshallah, I hope that Allah Ta'ala gives me the tawfiq to act upon this firstly myself, upon what has been said. And, has, and I pray that Allah forgives me for any mistakes I have made. And I pray that Allah keeps us all on the straight path according to the life of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani. Ameen. Wa ma alayna ilal balagh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let your body 
कर दो Say. 